which at this point in time allow me to invite the registrar, Dr. Sycorax T.S. Androvo, to invite the Vice Chancellor, to invite Professor Clive Tira to address the gathering. Thank you very much, Master of Ceremony. I now call upon the Vice Chancellor, Dr. Lukumba Piri, to come and invite the Professor Clive Chirwa to address the gathering. Thank you very much. I now call upon Professor Clive Chirwa to address the gathering. Good morning, graduates. Morning. The Chancellor, Professor Cassandra Chalwe, the guest of honor, the Vice Chancellor, Dr. Lukumba Piri, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the esteemed faculty, my fellow graduating students. Welcome to the Information and Communications University 6th graduation ceremony. Before I move on, may I sincerely apologize for the presence of those who haven't mentioned or protocols observed. I'm sure you, the graduates, and your loved ones will enjoy the fruits of your hard work on this day of reflection. Yes, it is that time of the year when we reluctantly say goodbye to you, our best and hardworking students with whom we have become so close. As a faculty, there is nothing more we can do but shed some tears of joy as we know our graduates have been equipped with profound knowledge and tools to let them go into the professional field. Embarking on the life post-university is daunting and is similar to what we experienced the first day at school when we were little. As boys and girls, we left the comfort of our moms and dads to enter the open competitive space called school. After this university, you will enter the most ferocious and merciless and ultra competitive space called the employment market. To help you start on a correct footing, let me advise you based on my own life experience. Before I do that, let me share with you the, quality, the qualities which you may not know you possess. These amazing attributes you need to follow in realizing your dreams. Some of the most important and based on the acronym known as EASY. E -S -I -E. E stands for education. This is the most important because it will remain with you throughout your entire life. Bosses will make you redundant from a job, even take everything away from you, but they will never retract the academic knowledge you have gained from this university. This is your... <laughs> this is your only long life natural asset. S is for skills. These are your equipped added values that will be improving upon throughout your life. It's about finding your principles and pledging to live by, by them. Some will be easy to achieve, but others will be hard and make you question your knowledge and skills. But never be detracted, never be deterred. Your inner instinct will direct you to the promised land. Yes, to the top of the pile in the job satisfaction and achievement. I is impossible. You might have heard the word impossible many times. Sometimes people say, oh, it is impossible to do this, it is impossible to do that, it's unsolvable. These words will resonate in your ears many times in your entire life. You have, you have come this far means you have overcome some and do not believe in the word because 
Every problem has got a solution, no matter how hard it is. Do not listen to critics and cynics on the sideline tearing people down, or, or as some called it in Zambia, PhD. This is not something you want to relate to. These are distractors, underachievers, and you do not want to associate yourself with them. Do not allow people to tell you that you cannot make it because you come from a different social background or even tribe or even university. You will make it as you go along. With your drive, <laughs> with your drive, determination, knowledge and skills, you will overcome all the adversities. E stands for Eureka. It is a Greek word means I found it. Is a crime of happiness when you have an achievement in your post-university life. You will have many of these and they will build up and constitute your curriculum vitae. The satisfaction from meeting your goals is elected. If you closely follow these tenets of easy, your life will be bright and you will positively contribute to the communities and beyond. Zambia has problems that need solutions, injustices that need to be ended, people persecuted for the sake of slowing them down. All these happen because of primitive methods of enrichment that is endemic in our country. Do not fall prey to this scam. They be yourself and control your destiny through loyal in your profession and that will lead you to do work that is legally enriching yourself and your soul. Work hard. There are some hope that everything from now will be legally in the name of helping every citizen in our country. His Excellency President Takende Ichilema has called for every citizen to work extremely hard and participate in the new in the development of this country. I'm sure my fellow graduates will acknowledge acquired the information and technology university, you will rise to challenge and contribute making the Ministry of Education and Ministry of Science and Technology proud, not forgetting your university. We know with the knowledge you have imparted in you, we'll participate in making computers, writing artificial intelligence algorithms, making the first Zambian electric vehicle using the technology uh, we have uh, developed together during your studies with us. Improve your life and that of others by, by teaching them how to become entrepreneurs and hence make Zambia prosperous. <laughs> now let me present some of uh, my own experiences over the years. I'll just start with uh, uh, the tenets of EASY. As an academic, you can reach the top. As an entrepreneur, you can become rich at the same time solving societal problems. As a, as a business person, or as a teacher, or as a uh, professor at university, or lecturer at university, you can contribute to the best knowledge to make others become prosperous in their studies. Furthermore, I want to actually create this atmosphere and give you that opportunity so that when you become a successful graduate in society as a human, and also you have also have failures. And these failures are going to come to you as you continue your life and you learn from them. Don't be deterred that you have a failure. Everybody has got failures in their lives, and therefore you have to work on them and try to achieve what you need to make sure that in future you don't make the same mistakes. In closing, I should say that real success requires a systematic approach towards your dreams. It requires choice after choice, passion, hunger to deliver, and perseverance. Coming from Technology University, with, uh, uh, with uh, business insight puts ahead of competition. Therefore, I'm excited 
that you are entering the open employment world with your knowledge, skills, and excitement as you choose your opportunities. Do not be scared of failures, as I said earlier on, in your search for successes. It is blessing because you learn a lot from failures and improve your strategies for better successes. It is better to prepare than to plan because when the right time appears, you will be able and ready to deliver. Welcome to the world of opportunities that shines your dreams and good luck. Thank you.